Hello, it's Darren at Moonhouse Studio again, and today I'm going to look at some slightly more advanced stuff. We're going to delve into the EQ section of the QCOM Pro X and just have a look at how you use that. And also, if you're thinking of just not using the channel strip and you wanted to use an EQ um, that's a third party plugin or even a, a stock plugin, um, I'll have a look at that as well. So let's just dive straight into all of that. OK, so let's just have a, a quick look at, um, say, the, the drum kit here. So we'll uh, select the drums. Um, I'll just toggle across to this section. Uh, we've got that on loop there. Uh, that's easy to turn on and off. Um, so we've got that going. We can solo that out. Now, normally, what you've got um, up on your display is your pan settings. It's usually set on pan and, and that's what well, certainly what I have it set on most of the time. Um, so you're going to have to select EQ. So dedicated button there, select EQ. Now that's going to bring up on your screen your EQ settings, but it doesn't automatically bring EQ up on Cubase. Now I believe in some other doors it will automatically bring up your um, channel strip EQ. So I haven't quite worked out whether that's something I'm doing wrong or whether it's just not set to do that. So I've programmed in one of my F keys uh, to bring up uh, the strip there with the equalizer. Um, but you can just click up in the inspector and uh, and pull that up if you want to. Um, so blank here and basically what you've got now with your EQ up is you've got gain frequency and you've your Q but also um, you can turn your EQ bands on and off by selecting them here so that's um, EQ1 this is band 2 and then you will need to use your page buttons here to move to the next page if you want to use EQ band 3 and EQ band 4 so all turned on there and looking up here you can see our EQs now we've got our various um, settings here so we've got our, um, our cut or boost um, the frequencies and the Q and these will all respond to these series of, of four uh, pots here so let's go back to page one we we'll look at EQ1 and so I've got my uh, cut and boost so uh, we'll just we we'll just loop around. So we're taking out quite a bit of bass frequency there. Um, the actual frequency is on this one here. Okay, you can make it sound really awful, can't you? Um, and then here's your Q. So it's basically laid out in exactly the same way for all of these so again you know gain so sort of cut some frequencies there let's uh, narrow up our cue um, do a bit of a sweep and I, obviously I'm, I'm not EQing really this correctly it's just to demonstrate the the controls okay so basically that's the way you would uh, alter your EQ settings using those pots. But remember, you've also got this uh, way of reversing these um, the faders and the pots there. So if you just press this button here, we're now controlling everything from down here. So again, a similar sort of thing. We'll we'll control um, EQ two band two from here. So if we just play. So, and that can actually be a lot easier than using the pots, uh, but it's it's just a matter of personal taste really, which you which you prefer. So you can use either. Now, one other thing to bear in mind, we'll go back up here, is that we have this name value uh, button up the top, the display mode. Now, if you're in pan. Usually it just tells you that you're in pan. It gives you your list of different instruments up there and it'll say left, right. And that's what you're using your pan pots for. So you'll be 
going left and right. And as you do that, it brings up briefly the, um, the amount of pan that you've got on there. But if you press the name value button, it toggles to the actual values. So here we've got center and then as I pan up, I get right and left coming up there. Well, this works for EQ as well. So if we go to our EQ settings, it's telling us we've got EQ gain, frequency, Q and on off. But if we switch here, it actually tells me I've got minus 24 dB, um, 90.7 Hertz. So you can actually have a look on here as it is moving things up on your screen. You can actually see what's going on. Um, if we play it, I'll uh, I'll do a sweep on here. Let's let's really ramp this up. Very narrow cue, so we can actually hear what's going on. But I can actually see my frequencies on the screen now, so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, if I turn that off, I can still do that. So I can I can use the screen here without it being displayed up up here. But to be quite honest, I would actually prefer to be able to see what's going up on on my screen. Um, so it's totally personal choice what you decide to do. So that's how you use the um, the door's own equalizer in the channel strip. Now, what about um, using EQ uh, that you've got, say, I don't know, a, a fab filter? Pro Q or something, something like that. Um, how would you do that? Let's have a quick look. Right, so I've put an insert in of uh, frequency, which is a, although it's um, a stock plugin from Steinberg, obviously, this is the same principle for whatever plugins you've got on your door, or if you are using third party, um, like uh, as I mentioned before, the uh, FabFilter Pro Q. But this time, instead of going into EQ, you have to press the inserts button and that would control any insert. It's not just EQ. So the, the principle holds for everything. And what you'll find is that you'll you'll get that um, plugin mapped to a certain extent on the screen. But you'll find it a little bit more complicated than with the standard EQ, because now instead of two pages to scroll through, I've got 14 and um, they cover you know it's I mean it's really comprehensive for um, frequency so I mean, if I'm playing this um, it'll cover all sorts of things so I've got I've got my uh, EQ bypass here which I can use um, output frequencies um, other bypassing there um, I can turn the spectral analyzer onto different types, um, bring up the bar graph, take out the piano roll, you know, so it's basically controlling all these functions. I'll go to the next screen. I've now got my first band of EQ and the second band by the looks of it, so I can turn those on and off. Uh, I can alter the gain. Uh, you know, in the same way, frequency, Q, map slightly confusingly because they're not in order on the screen, but you know, it's it's basically doing exactly the same thing that we did before. Let's just stop that. But um, the text here is really confusing. It's it's almost like a stream of consciousness because they're trying to pack so much information in here, and it's just not really. Um, wide enough to do that. So I mean I could scroll through screen by screen um, that's EQ2 then I've got another screen of EQ3 halfway through here it changes to EQ4 and then I've got a whole screen of EQ4 and I could move through all of these bands um, controlling them um, as I as I move around um, but it's really not that usable I don't think. I, I certainly wouldn't bother to use it for a relatively complex um, 
third party or or even uh, you know a, a door um, plug-in that you've you've got there uh, it might work better with something that's slightly less control heavy it's trying to be all things to all men and um, sometimes you've just got to accept that this unit is good for certain things and it's a lot easier to use your mouse or um, your keyboard controls for for other things so personally I think you know for the EQ perhaps you know that that dedicated EQ button there it's not quite so cluttered along the um, display there so you would be able to use it for EQing um, but uh, you'd have to be pretty dedicated to want to use it for a, you know a relatively complex insert plugin but the facility is there so it's a personal choice on your part okay well I think that's a, about it for today let's just um, wrap up there and I will be going through some more features at a later date but for now I hope that was useful if you're into like and subscribe please do um, but again you know I don't I don't ask it of everybody to have to do that um, it's personal choice again isn't it so thanks for listening and watching and I'll see you on the next one Bye.